The secret to the fountain of youth is a fecal transplant? That in a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest information. Who knew the term shove it up your ass could mean someone wants the best for you? I mean, that recommendation may even come from your doctor. A new study suggests the answer to healing older brains may be hiding in younger guts. Researchers say fecal transplants not only affect your gut health, they can also alter your brain too. <laughs> it alters my brain just thinking about it. Now, I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to have a lot of video or pictures for this one, and you'll thank me for it later. An international team finds fecal transplants from older to younger mice impacts the learning and memory abilities of the recipient. By altering the gut microbiome of the younger mice, researchers say they began to act more like their older donors. These changes include some of the cognitive impairments older brains suffer from. What is a fecal transplant? I thought you'd never ask. Simply put, fecal transplants involve taking stool from a healthy person and placing it in the colon of someone else. In humans, the recipient is usually someone who is very sick and could have a bacterial infection. Since the gut contains both good and bad bacteria, using antibiotics can sometimes get rid of the helpful ingredients your body needs to stay healthy. Using the bacteria from a healthy donor's poop adds the right materials to properly balance the human microbiome, they say. <laughs> I'm five when it comes to this. I'm just warning you now. The procedure can even help patients dealing with serious conditions like ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and cirrhosis. What does this have to do with your brain, you ask? Well, great question. After reversing the process with younger mice, giving them a transplant from an old fart, as they say in the vernacular, which seems oddly appropriate here, the young mice began to show problems with spatial learning and memory and had trouble running through a maze test, just like older and mentally impaired mice do. Poor critters. Well, no shit. <laughs> Get it? Like I said, I'm five. Check out more detail in the link in the description below on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.